Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Swiss Army Dan coming at you with another Swiss Army Knife video. Um, you guys can probably hear the ocean in the background. Um, no, actually I'm kidding. That's a freeway because my new place is right by uh, a freeway. So hopefully it's not too loud. We'll see. Anyway, today guys, I wanted to talk about some differences between Wenger and Victoria Knox Swiss Army Knives. Um, I've uh, kind of touched on this in the past, but today I kind of wanted to look at maybe like some common problems that you'll find in some of these knives and maybe a comparison of the uh, the two knives, the quality and whatnot. Um, I'll start right here. You know, I just bought this uh, these white scales uh, for this Victorinox. I was like really happy and proud of it. Then I dropped it once and poof, I have uh, hard floors in, in my house, so yeah, just one drop and bam, the uh, the scale broke off. It cracked, but I just kind of did that and then it, you know the piece just fell off. Um, so I think that's an issue. I do wish Victorinox would look at maybe making their uh, cellar door a little bit uh, more durable. I think that would be cool. I mean, it looks great. It seems like the older scales, you know, they were solid and maybe a little tougher. Maybe the quality has gone down slightly over the years, especially just, you know, having, uh, you know, they used to be thick all the way through and now they, they have these pockets, you know, um, it's open under there. So that's one issue. As far as the knife, I mean, you drop it a lot and usually you're gonna be fine. Um, if you have like the blade open, you know, and then drive it right, and it hits that that point on the blade just right on a hard surface, it will break off. But they're pretty pretty durable knives overall. One issue I do see a lot with the Victorinox is the uh, the spring breaking, especially on older ones. But you know, it's just a thin little mechanism there. I think they're expected to break, and it's really not too hard to replace those. Um. Here is pretty much a, a brand new Vanger Highlander. And it's great, I really love this knife. You know, it's cool. It has pretty good snap. One thing I do find with Vengers is when it snaps into place right here, it's pretty easy to move that blade. It's not stuck there really good. With Victorinox, you have to push a little bit more before you feel that thing releasing from its resting place but the finger it's a little bit less tight um, also always on this tool I find it's pretty it's pretty weak right there I don't find that with Victorinox and I don't mean to bash winger too much but I just feel like it's a, a little bit stronger knife like you have to push on that Victorinox the finger is like a little bit more loosey-goosey right now right there and even on the Delamonts I found that um, here's a newer Delamont I think Evo 10 or something but it's the same way this right here is pretty weak another thing I found with these Delamonts these scales do seem I've only had a few of these but on two of them already the the scales kind of like popping off there I know that happens on a lot of knives maybe but maybe these are a little bit more prone to that um, I don't see that with the fingers in general like the old old style scales um, but still that same issue right here I mean you can see how loose that is like I barely tap on it and it's moving quite a bit so for me I think that's an issue um, yeah and it's consistent with pretty much every finger I have I have run into a lot of fingers, not by lots, but it just seems like the back springs, I find more broken back springs on fingers than I do Victorinox. I have seen some broken back springs on Victorinox too, but I don't know. It seems like I have run into a lot of, it's easier to abuse these, I think. Um, there's a little bit thinner metal, maybe that's the only reason you know which you're, you're using a smaller spring it's gonna be weaker um, I guess some continued finger complaints here <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking about that weak 
back spring, even on like the smaller knives. So here's a 58 millimeter Victorinox and a 65 millimeter Vanger. The Victorinox is not like it's hard to close, but this Vanger is even a, a little bit weaker than this one. Um, I love I love Vangers. I think that's cool, but it just feels like that blade is doesn't snap into place very well. One thing I do see with a lot of Victorinox um, 58 millimeters is the scale popping off. You know, uh, here's one. So I think Celador in general is kind of a fragile deal that you get here. If unless you're super careful with your knife, it's going to run into some issues. You can't just like throw it around or you know drop it. You risk uh, you know the whole scale coming off or or chipping. Um, so I try to be easy on my knives, of course, but you know, I think that's why people like a lock so much is because you can drop it and kind of use it and abuse it a little bit more and the knife is still going to be intact. Nothing's going to break off of it. Um, I think the quality of these 93 millimeters are really close. They both have really good back springs on these soldiers. Uh, Vic usually did a little bit more polish, especially on the older uh, soldiers. But I want to say like the, the quality is basically the same um, for for Victorinox and Vanger. Maybe like, you know, Victorinox is slightly, slightly better, like a percent better or something. Here's some newer soldiers. And eventually Vanger did go to more of a, uh, a mirror polish. And so did Vic. You'll find old Vic's. They don't have much mirror polish on them too. But these springs, they feel good, you know. I don't I don't have any complaints about the springs on the Alox. Here is a brand new um banger. Uh backpacker two. I just wanted to show you, just like right out of the box. This is just so easy to uh to close. Here's a, a brand new Victorinox out of the box it doesn't want to move as easily as this one there's play in this one you do the same maneuver with this one and it's not really going anywhere you have to push harder for that blade to start moving so um, overall I think yeah Victorinox probably made higher quality medium size uh, knives I won't speak to the, the Ranger grip and other sizes because I don't really know as much about those and they seem like super solid knives. Um, but I feel like if I have a Victorinox in the hand I feel like it's a little bit more um, sturdy than a Vanger. So um, are you Vanger fans out there? I'm sorry. Leave comments. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Memorial Day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Swiss Army Dan is out.